were driving around one afternoon in Orange County, California, and we saw a big sign for Planned Parenthood. We didn't know, but it looked like maybe they could help us with some decisions on if we wanted to be parents. An official counselor came out, and she had a bunch of paperwork and said, you know, right now it's not completely legal, but under certain circumstances we can make this happen for you, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden she drops the abortion word. Well, and says, okay, listen, what are you doing with your life right now? Well, I just graduated high school. I'm in the carpenter's union. I got a draft number of 18, so I'm pretty sure I'm going into the military. You'd be the most worthless father in the world. And, well, maybe so. And then what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to major in this, going to college. You'd be the most worthless mother, you know. And so basically the only option they had was abortion. And they said, you know, listen, you're two and a half months pregnant, you haven't told your parents. I mean, the safest thing medically for you to do right now is abort this baby before it gets too much further. I mean, this could be a dangerous pregnancy. You don't know. You're not ready and, and you're gonna be lousy parents. So they were effective in convincing us that probably we shouldn't get married and have a kid and we weren't ready for that, but they weren't convincing enough to do the abortion thing. So we had that um, meeting with the Catholic priest. She's in this nurse practitioner program, and the kind of nurse practitioner she wanted to be is a midwife to deliver babies. <laughs> it gets better. She speaks like three languages and signs, meets a deaf guy at the Rock Church that's really, you know, with it and has a lot of things, marries him. She's got five kids of her own. She adopted. Um, she went on missionary trips to Liberia, and for three years of her marriage, they couldn't get pregnant. So they adopted two black deaf children from Liberia from an orphanage. You have to be planning on being there to raise that child yourself. Otherwise, adoption is a perfect option. That's, you know, it would be a different story, but if you're healthy enough to deliver a baby, you could have a story just like mine.